Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. I'm Alex, that's Kirby. So today's topic is will AI cause recessions or a recession? Um, something along those lines. But that's that's basically, I don't know, just something I was thinking of is, you know, we see projections of jobs being lost uh, caused by AI, mostly uh, white collar jobs and as the news has announced you know we're headed to a white collar recession but um, you know there are millions of jobs that are uh, done by humans that can be easily replaced by AI so it's just a thought you know I had of are we going to see that now or is it going to be a bigger effect in the future when, you know, AI gets more advanced and companies start to adapt into it? Well, we talked about this uh, in the Saturday session. Uh, by 2030, some jobs will be replaced by AI. Um, and uh, AI recession, I, I, like where you, I like where your head's at and the headspace that you was thinking of this. Um, I look at it as it's already happening, but it's not AI that's causing it. It's over hiring. Uh, you've seen on you've seen uh, people at Facebook that said that they was hiring hundreds of thousands of people just so they wouldn't work for their competition. But when they worked at Facebook, they literally did nothing every day for months and months on end. But they still got paid those high salaries. Um, hopefully, and this is me saying this, hopefully those people, they got to learn something while they sit at Facebooks, at the Googles, you know, at the Metas or whatever, what other tech companies, they got to learn something and they branch off and create more businesses. That's what I hope. I'm not, I mean, if they get a, you know, get a job, that's great, but I'm hoping they create another culture of more business so they don't put themselves in that situation again. And the reason why I hope that is because they'll be more, they'll be more cognizant and understanding of human capital. Because once your company gets so big, human capital is not something that they focus on. They focus on the bottom dollar. They focus on uh, cutting expenses and this is how AI and automation uh, and outsourcing comes comes about. But what I mean by it's already happening is because Google, you know, the fintechs or the fangs are the headline stories. It's been company replacing employees with automation since the 90s. I remember the car automotive plant Every piece was put on by humans. Now it was robots for certain sectors. I used to work uh, at an automotive uh, plant and I worked in the paint section. 90% of the paint is done by robots when it used to be 100%. Only 10% of the paint jobs that sold cars is done by humans. 10%. 90% is done by robots. So, and this is quote unquote a blue collar job. So we've been moving in that direction for a while and it takes you know it'll it'll take humans to adjust adapt adjust adapt adjust adapt um but will it increase further with ai you know that was automation in the you know will it it was automation in the you know automotive sector but with ai will it increase more yes it will ai will replace more jobs but do I believe that it'll be a AI recession? No, I really don't. But I'll let you, if you got any questions before I jump into that. Apologize. Yeah, I mean, it was just a thought, um, you know, because considering there's a recession, you know, every eight, 10 years, you know, 2030 is seven years from now. You know, it's like, what will be the next recession and what will cause it and if ai will continue to get advanced which we're starting to already see what ai can do and how um how advanced it already is and what it can do and we're already seeing 
companies start to send their employees home and not work at the office. So there's more remote work. But then there's a now that there is AI, there, it just raises a bunch of questions for me at least of why are there certain jobs? I mean, there's jobs as far as like marketing, like social media marketing that is done by people. But now that there's AI, why do you need marketers or, you know, artists uh, that I know that was one of the big ones as well is, you know, there there's people that still do art as a job. But if you have AI, why do you need that? Or I don't know, even uh, translations or um, there's just so many job fields that I, I can see being replaced easily by AI. Just I don't know. I mean, just let's let's go with just the jobs you just talked about. The jobs you just said, none of them are on a mass scale of that will cause a recession. Translators, painters, right. that's goes back to what I said about people will just have to adapt, adjust their career choice, and move on. But there's not many marketing, you know, people that work in marketing that by itself would not create a recession if everybody in marketing was eliminated. It wouldn't cause a recession. It would cause a lot of people to lose their jobs, but the the financial impact wouldn't be big enough. But let me let me give you a couple. If it's bankers, all the bankers, I mean, from advisors and all that, all the bankers, they lose your job. All the real estate agents, uh, all of all of the uh, office office jobs. Um, as far as to do administrative or do mundane tasks and things like that. Then now we're talking about something. If it's all done in a, you know, a mass scale across all ledgers, but it's not going to be done like that in one fell swoop. So it'll be piece by piece, different jobs, different sectors, different jobs. And these people just got to adjust and update what they're doing. But again, that's just a certain sector. A certain you still gonna have all the white collar jobs. You're still gonna have, you know, plumbers, AC guys, and and I'm talking about here in Florida, plumbing and AC. That's like the, that's like the number one job. But um, but you still gonna have most of the blue collar getting your brakes changed. Um, that's not that's not going on AI and automation. Um, and if, for me, I like it because for many years, many years in America, oh, if you don't go to college, you're dumb. You know, you need this, you need this degree so you can go sit in the corner office. Now your corner office is getting replaced by AI. Now it's the people that didn't go to school and just had, you know, their Voltec, you know, education, you know, do, do some carpentry. Those are the people whose jobs are still safe. So I like to I like to get back. Even though I have a degree, even though I sit in office, <laughs> I like that it's right. it's uh it's the blue collar guys that has a chance to hold on to their jobs and stuff like that. Because, you know, we push a false narrative all the time that, oh, a degree means something. As a guy with a degree, it ain't changed my life one bit. Yeah, I pay for it and all that other stuff. I'm not bitter. It's just, it didn't. I could have did the same thing if I just blue collar, blue collar job guy I probably could have did more, but I'm so glad that the blue collar, the blue collar job people are, uh, they, those are the ones that's not being affected as much as the people in the white collar sector, because again, 08 financial crisis was a lot of the blue collar guys that was getting crushed, you know. So I, I love that fact of it. But what you got? Yeah, because um, especially the real estate one that you mentioned, I was seeing uh, AI can be used for looking for deals even um and mm -hmm. uh writing leases and you know it, it can be used for so many things and um i think even the military is starting to use it for like combat yeah yeah like so well it's it's more of programming it's it's still a white collar and uh what's the name i mean they, they have robotics robotics ai two different things robotics still controlled by human um, okay you know, now they're trying to put, you know, intelligence in it to, you know, be able to roll or whatever. But it's not going to replace soldiers. It's not going to replace soldiers. Well, one day they come out with this 
armor RoboCop soldier, universal soldier to <laughs> do one day. Maybe. That's, that's great if they do. That's great if they do. But um, but then we get into, you know, Terminator, Terminator 5000. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We get into that realm. But the, the, AI, the AI thing is very interesting. Uh, I work with it. Uh, I know a lot about the automation in it, the analytics in it. And it's very interesting, very interesting. And I and I think what is I don't I don't believe it will totally eliminate jobs. Well, yeah, technically eliminate, but it will condense the number of people that needs to be there. So, in office space, if you got a thousand, you probably can get the same thing done with twenty to ten people. The same yeah. thing that the a thousand people could do with AI. Because it's. And I don't mean to cut you off, but like, just say my job, my job can be easily replaced by AI. I'm not trying to fire myself, but it's just, it's, you know, logistics. That's a huge job field. You know what I mean? That can easily be replaced. I mean, because really in at least, let's say in my job description, it's a dispatching out routes. And then from there, being an active point of contact for that driver in case there's an emergency. So AI can easily dispatch out routes. I don't see why it couldn't. And then AI can direct them into who to call for emergency situations. It's like... Well, and and the thing is, is this got to understand things. Automation, AI, two separate things. Automation is automation is being able to pro- program something to do a task, and it can be a complex task that's to be done over and over and over. So, route sending out routes, automation can do that. AI could they find the best route and all that other stuff, thinking on the go, thinking on the go. That that goes into Hey, I reach out AI being able to reach out to, uh, let's say a truck driver. Something happens to him, God forbid, but something happens to him, and they call the AI hotline. And they say, "Hey, I'm here, here, here," and they're like, "Okay, we'll dispatch this person that's got a close logistical location." Then yeah, that's that's different, but it wouldn't be automation. But automation, automation, can automation take your job, take the job that you have of dispatching? Yes, automation would be in that live call in person. Who could give right. the best assistance on the best avenue and approach? That would be it. So that's different. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but you're right. It can be replaced. I mean, yeah. Elon Musk is trying to, you know, get the EV trucks, then driverless trucks. I mean, that stuff, that stuff will happen, but that's years and years down the road. I mean, down the road. So, but yeah, could could the job be replaced? Yeah. I mean, that's why you you heard about the thing like universal income and all this other stuff. <laughs> the truth of the matter is, no matter what, is is it's all about adjusting and adapting. Just like the blue collar workers, all the people, just think of any truck, all those people back in the 50s, 60s, 30s, every part that went on a car, they did it by hand. Then 70s, 80s, 90s, they brought robotics in to do the same test, the same test over and over and over again. So the assembly line, hey, I'm just putting nuts here, putting nuts here, putting nuts here. And um, the people job they replaced, they just had to adapt and adjust, adapt and adjust. The cream going to rise to the top. The shitbag people going to be shitbag people and they're just going to be left behind. But that's that's what's going to happen. I don't... I don't think we have a world where, as long as I'm alive, where AI is running everything, humans don't have to work no more, and we're just walking around like zombies, hoping the government give us a couple food stamps to pay for our pay for our family. Mm-hmm. I don't think it'll be Terminator, Terminator, <laughs> two thousand and thirty, and they took over the whole land. Well, guys. With all that being said, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, Share this video, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one.